Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with another video tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how I put together these cute little baskets. They are so cute, and they're they're kind of like a cupcake size. I don't know that you could put a cupcake in them, but what I want to do is fill them with kisses. So these are called my basket of kisses. Aren't they cute? And I'm using products from the Hydrangea, Hydrangea Hill. <clears throat> how to make sure I got the name right. From the Hydrangea Hill Suite. <laughs> and this is some of the beautiful designer series paper in there. And they also, and in that suite, uh, you also get this organza, organza ribbon. I think that's what it's called. It's sheer ribbon, and it's in the gorgeous grape color. But if you don't have this color ribbon, if you weren't able to get that ribbon, um, we also carry the tricolor purple ribbon, which I used on this one here. It's got different shades of purple, and um, I'll give you the num the uh, the number of these ribbons at the end of the the video. Or actually, they'll be in the description. Everything that I use, I always put in the description. But look how cute! Look at these pretty little flowers. I put little pearls on them, and the reason I put the small pearls because Hydrangea Hill does have a pearl. Um, selection in their suite but the pearls are a little bit too big for these tiny little flowers so I decided to use some of my tinier pearls for my basic pearls um, um, I think that's what it's called just they're just called basic pearls yep pearl basic jewels that's what that's called okay so if you want to learn how I put these little baskets together and they're not they're not difficult um, just keep continue watching I'll show you how. So to begin with, we're going to make our octagon. <clears throat> and now I have two 5-inch pieces of designer series paper. They are 5 inches square. And you can choose any design from the designer series paper pack. And uh, what I need to do is make my octagon. And I really don't need a template, but if you want to do a template, um, like I have right here, this is, a, this is a template for the 5x5 five five and where to cut it. Um, this is how you're going to make your template. But um, I don't find it even necessary to, to do that, to make a template, because I'm going to be showing you how to make the, um, the score lines that you need to make. And, you know, you won't need to make a template. But, if you like I say, if you want to make a template, you can. So I'm going to bring out my scoring tool this is my simply scored scoring tool and I am going to make sure you use the big ball I'm gonna put my 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 uh, big ball of the stylus on the four inch mark and I'm gonna put that and I'm gonna slide it down like here and then I'm gonna put the point of that square on that four inch mark and then I'm gonna line this up here because I want to score from corner to corner. Try to be as straight as you can. And I'm going to do the same thing. Getting it here and marking it right here. Okay. And I'm going to score. And then you're, you're going to want to score it at the two and a half inch mark on both sides. Okay. So... I think, I don't know if you can see all my score lines on this side of the paper. I don't know if it's showing up very well, but those are going to be my guides. Now, I need to do it on both pieces of paper, okay? Both pieces of designer series paper. And I'll show you why in a minute. I know there's a lot of different ways you can make an octagon. Okay, but this is my easy way to do it. that and then we're scoring this at two and a half inches okay now what I'm gonna do is put this away for now I'm gonna do take my take your pick tool and I am gonna poke right in the center I, where all of those points meet I'm gonna just poke a hole just like that okay and I'm gonna do the same on this side here just going to poke a hole, 
okay and then I'm going to take this and this and I'm going to make sure that my score lines line up like that so I have I, I, can, I can see it that my score lines are lining up like this and so what do you do next you start trimming and I'll show you I'm going to be whoops <laughs> there, there went my other scissors I'm going to be using my paper snips and I'm just going, going to trim off all of the points okay I'm going to flip it over so I could see this point here okay flip it over just make sure your your um your score lines are aligned okay I'm gonna flip this over I mean I, I flipped it over I'm cutting now flipping it over cutting flip it over Just snip it off right there flipping it over snipping it off two more to do And there you go and now you have your hexagons that you need for your little basket and let's put these away throw those away I don't think I need those little ones although I could probably piece those little pieces on a card okay so what I want to do is take a two inch circle punch now uh, this is like a I think this is gorgeous grape so let me get out some gorgeous grape um, if I can find it here yeah, I'll get out a little piece of gorgeous grape. And I'm going to just punch a two two-inch circles. Now you can use white, basic, um, uh, you know, basic white, but you want to use the thick one, okay? Just, just make sure that you're using the thick circle, okay? And I'm, I'm cutting two of them out because basically they're going to be uh, glued onto this side. But i got to find the center of this um this little circle here so how do i do that what i like to do is this is let me let me just draw my square right here okay from here to here and from here to here is two inches and from here to here and here to here is two inches so i want to make sure that my circle goes right there and then i'm going to take a little ruler take my little ruler and it doesn't really matter that I'm drawing on my circle I just want to just kind of draw where the center is right there there's the center there keeping this in the circle I mean in in those boundaries then you draw your center here and that's pretty much where my center is now I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and poke that hole right there Okay, so where those val where the um, where your score lines are, you want to be where you've got the mountain side of that score line, the side that that you know picks up. It, it goes upward. This is the valley side where you scored, and this is the mountain side. So you definitely want the mountain side. And I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to grab some uh, Tombow Mono adhesive. I'm just going to put a little bit right around here. I need to grab my uh, silicone craft sheet too because I don't want to get glue all over my and now I'm just going to match up the hole so I'm pretty much in the center here see like that and that is that's pretty close to center and I'm okay with that okay it's a little bit off I, I, I can see that it's a little tiny bit off okay there we go all right, the next thing you want to do is you want to cut down every single score line right down the middle of the score line. Okay. And just up to the circle. You don't want to cut beyond the circle. If you're cutting into the circle, you've gone too far. and just try to be as neat as you can the neater you are doing this the better it'll come together and then you're going to take your 
uh, tear and tape and you're just going to put tear and tape well actually let me do this first <laughs> I got ahead of myself I'm going to take each one of these petals and I'm going to curl them slightly okay you definitely want a slight curl on every one of them of these petals that's going to help shape the shape the little basket just a little better if you skip this part it's it will be too late to do it you know if you've already started gluing them together so you want to do this first and then we'll put our adhesive on here okay so we got them pretty much um, all curled up slightly okay now what you're gonna do <clears throat> is take your tear and tape Let's see I'm trying to find the beginning of my tear and tape here it is right here okay take your tear and tape and on every other one on this side I'm going to see this is this is one petal here I'm going to put tear and tape on it one right here and let me grab my, my little block to tear it okay so I've got I've got it on one petal I'm gonna skip a petal and then do do it on this side here and that's what you do you every other one on each side you'll be putting some of this uh, adhesive tear and tape on you could do this with glue dots too but I don't know how well glue dots are going to hold together I'll hold this thing together but, but um, if you don't have tear and tape try glue dots um, liquid glue might be a little fiddly because you'd have to wait for it to dry every time you move to the next petal as you're putting this together Okay, there we go. That's that one. Okay, now I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to. You see this petal right here that doesn't have adhesive? I'm going to start with that one and put adhesive on this side. So every petal is going to have adhesive on the inside or the outside, but you got to um, stagger them. Every other one. That's the right word, staggered. We'll just call it staggered, okay? <laughs> All right. Yeah, and it, you don't need a whole lot. You just need just, like I say, about a half an inch will do. And like I say, the neater you are at this, the nicer your basket's gonna go together. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to fold you want to fold your your petals inward every single one okay don't worry about the curve of the circle you just want to fold it up to the circle and um, and just kind of burnish it you can use your bone folder if you want to burnish these but I'm just doing it with my finger got them all now yep okay now it's time to put these together so what you need to do is take your tear and tape uh, the backer paper off your tear and tape on all the parts I'll try to fast forward this because it's a uh, can be a little time consuming If any of the tear and tape goes over the edge of your uh, of your paper, just fold it in on itself. Okay. Sometimes that happens. Now, the fun part. <laughs> it's not that difficult, but what you're going to do is you're going to take these, uh, take every every other petal, and on the the edges you're going to point them together and try to line them up with the tip of the middle petal right there. So I've got these two points together, and that's the middle point right there. 
and I will do that again with these two petals. And just try to be as neat as you can. Okay, and since I've done that part there, now I can burnish down these two. Now they may not go together perfectly on the outside um, unless you're really, really careful. <laughs> um, sometimes they just uh, sometimes they just don't want to go together perfectly on the outside. But on the inside, I'm trying to make it perfect. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see because um, it's going to be blocking this, but. I've got these two here, and then I'm going to burnish that one down there. Now this was this one's way off, <laughs> but I think you can understand what I'm trying to do here. Just just keep these, keep try to keep them centered. Maybe you could even work from the back so you can get the outside perfect. I'm taking this off just to center it better on the back side of here. So like that. Okay. Now this one here was folded so I need to take it just gently gently take take that off yeah yeah this stuff is really strong so like I say try to be as neat as you can there we go okay I think I've got them all now I have my little basket put together isn't that cute looks like a little cupcake box all right just want to make sure that everything is burnished down and now what you want to do is you want to take some ribbon now I have the ribbon that comes in that hydrangea hill suite uh, this is the uh, grape grapefruit grove I believe not grapefruit grove gorgeous grape I don't know what I'm... Grapefruit Grove was, a, was a, a, a color we had a long time ago. Or a couple years ago, anyway. It's Gorgeous Grape Organdy Ribbon. Okay? It's sheer ribbon, rather. And you only need about five inches of it. Now, if you don't have ribbon, or you would prefer not to put ribbon on there, you can use a designer series paper. What do I have? Now, from the pieces that I cut off here... Um, Let's see like this one here I'll, I'm gonna cut this down two three quarters of an inch with my my tr paper trimmer we're just going three quarters of an inch okay and you can just put that in like that if you want to or the the opposite side the outside like this okay but I think I'm going to use the ribbon so I only I only need five inches of ribbon so I'm just going to measure from here five inches let me get my ribbon scissors um, those are the ones that fell on the floor okay <laughs> and we're just going to cut that off right there and I'm going to use some more tear and tape but you can use glue dots here I'm just going to put a little bit of tear and tape uh, right on this like that and on the same side like that all right and now let's take this backer paper off and you can pretty much put it anywhere just make sure you get it on the opposite side is right here isn't that cute okay now we can fill it with um, some oops <laughs> some kisses after all it is a basket of kisses right there we go I don't know how many it'll hold <laughs> but just put as many that as you can to fill it in now one thing that you can do also with this is in that suite of products we have we not only have a stamp set, but we also have a die, a die set. And this die set not only cuts out what you stamp, but it also cuts out these tiny little flowers here. And I'm going to take that out. And with this, um, with this strip of five inches, look at that, it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my mini stampin 
um, uh, stamp emboss machine here. Okay, because it's a small die and you can use it with your small dies. I am going to bring in my number one plate, the number two plate, and our paper, the die, our top plate, and let's roll this puppy through. I'm excited today because I, I finally just got the big, um, uh, the big, the bigger one, the bigger boss today. Um, I was holding off because I still was using my big shot, but uh, I decided, you know what? I earned, I earned enough points being a Stampin' Up demonstrator that I practically got it free. So think about that. Think about joining Stampin' Up because I mean it is so much fun to um, to get new things in the mail to um, to just to create with it's just a wonderful thing okay so i'm going to use some glue dots when i stick these on let me go find my glue dots okay and let me t use my take your pick tool i'm going to just kind of roll that glue dot around and pick one up now depending on what you want to show i'm just going to put little flowers hold on a second I'm going to put little flowers all on the edge just to decorate it really nicely. Okay. Probably should have waited to put those in there. <laughs> okay. But like I say, this is just if you want to uh, put some decorations on the outside. These little flowers are so, so cute. All right. Let's see. Isn't that cute? Now we can put our, our kisses back in our basket of kisses. It's not a basket of kisses unless there's kisses in it. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is my project for today. I hope that you liked it. <laughs> and I hope I've taught you something. And I hope that you will try this. Okay? If you need any of the tools and supplies that I used in this video, please go to my website at www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net. All of the uh, tools and supplies that I use in this video are going to be listed in the description of this video. So, once again, I am Jeanette with Geoamazing Papercrafts, and you make it a great day. Bye-bye!